My role in Winnell is a um, finance reporter. My name is Sophie Webb and I'm the fashion director. My name is Sam Sheard and I'm the sports editor. My name is Christina Michaels and my role on Winnell is chief crime reporter. I'm Liam Garahan and I'm sports reporter for Winnell. Uh, and my name is Kate Drummond and I'm the production editor for Winnell. Just anything from like money issues, job losses, everything like that. As a court reporter you're the eyes and ears of what's going on inside the court. Victim in broad daylight. This is the football matches, I film them. They're usually rubbish. <laughs> the ball spends more time actually in the air than on the ground. My role as production editor is to basically keep an eye on the entire production side of things. The great thing about being a news reporter is there really is no average week. Um, everything is different because the news is different, different things happen each week. Count the labour or the water damage inside the church that's occurred as a result. Essentially every week our reporters go out and they get their sports stories, whether that's match coverage, news stories or some sports features and it's compiled into Sports Week which is a 10 minute show uh, similar to the Winnell Bulletin but all about sport. Leave it to those who know the sport best. Thomas Baxter, Winchester News Online. <laughs> Yeah, a little bit, but it's it's so important. Like they do it all the time in the business. Ensuring contacts is so important with the police. Ensuring that I can get mug shots of the defendants. Ensuring I'm legally identifying them. Cover all sorts of things that will appeal to women. Once you once you get used to talking to people and you know you get into the swing of things, it just it's magic, magic in the making. We're just a city's man to James Taylor. Too. Current, I was there in London when the budget was being announced. The UK is struggling to grow economically. Do the features on wheelchair rugby, uh, touch We're rugby, gone. little team developing there. Wrestling. With only six players at a recent training session. The Absolutely magazine is a magazine aimed at women from the age of 16 to around 24. We cover things from fashion, clothing, to makeup and perfume, which will interest the audience. Gonna do it again. Do what you did though. That's good. On Wednesday, the priority is to set up the gallery, make sure all the equipment's working, because if that goes wrong, everything will go wrong. I do it like for the bulletin. I think it's just one of the things where the more you practice, the better you get it, the more confident you get it. So I think it's something I'd like to do, but yeah, definitely. But first time, sort of obviously, going to be a bit nerve wracking, but on from there, I think it'd be, I think it'd be something I definitely want to do. Inspire a generation. That was the slogan of the 2012 Olympic and Paralympic Games. Well, I'm Harry Farkill and I'm a um, presenter and I'm writing the news um, script today. If the main script and the main bulletin doesn't um, meld together, it doesn't look good, then it affects the, the look of the packages in between them. So um, it's, there's a lot of pressure to make those joining bits link everything together and make, make the whole thing work. When you become a chief reporter, you're, you're kind of all areas then, so you can do you know, you could do finance one week and transport another week. The best aspect about court reporting is, I'd say, the responsibility. There's always, it's very responsible journalism, so you know that there's always going to be a consequence of your reporting. Um, for instance, contempt of court and legal issues like defamation. I think everyone has a very stressful job on Winner. Um, there's a lot to do and there's different times, like on a Monday and a Tuesday, the reporters maybe, because they're going out doing the interviews, actually getting the work done. On a Wednesday in production, they're completely hectic. Uh, next would be to prepare headlines, coming up, credits, all the pre things we can get done as soon as possible. We've got to get everything done by uh, two o'clock usually, because um, we'll have to start filming in the gallery at three. Uh, then badgering the reporters and hurry up their stories and getting it all on time and ready to go at three o'clock. And to be honest, a lot of the stories that get spiked do get used on the day, because Wednesday at 11 o'clock, someone could lose all their files, everything could go offline, and then I know I've got something in the bank that I can just put up in the bulletin. The adrenaline that, and buzz in the newsroom and in the production and as a team on Winnow is what, what makes it run so smoothly. Um, I'm constantly wearing all the time, the editor's wearing. I think it's stressful for everyone. But it's in your role on Winnow, if you see another story, go and do it, because if you feel passionate about it, that will probably be the most successful thing you do. We're all running high on adrenaline and I think that's what makes it so exciting and so enjoyable. I arranged the photo shoots to do with different fashion topics. The first one I did was based on sport. To find out what 
find their story as early as possible, as this allows you to find the right people to interview for it. I think there were some young people, many young people who voted level down. We had a stylist from Tony and Guy come in and style all the models' hair, and we did a really good shoot based on the sport. Uh, what advice would you give to first years that are coming up to their second year now? Um, what advice? I think I'd say give everything a go because this course you can. You can try a bit of production, you can try a bit of news editing um, and then you can just find out what you really want to do and what you want to do in the future. As far as the gallery and the production is concerned, I want leadership from the director. That is the most important thing. As soon as the programme is handed over to the technicians, I the director, then it's their baby. They have to be in control, but it's leadership and communication. Everything, you know, just slight editorial sort of stuff, so it's not too bad. We're basically getting it on before five, onto YouTube and onto our website. Hello and welcome to Winchester News Online. I'm you know, we get a big peak on the Wednesday because whether we aim to or not, there's always the most content arrives on that day. Just, it's just the way the process works with people's news gathering. It tends to finish up on a Wednesday. So the Wednesday's our big news day. It's when we've got a big bulk of news coming. Twitter really helps with the individual stories of the website because we can instantly target the market from each story, get it out to that market, and then we've got each, each story being read by who it should be being read by. So we get it to its exact audience within minutes of it being up.